Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you've all had an amazing 2020 so far. I've been meaning to film this video literally for like three months, but here I am finally doing it. Um, so basically, um, if you haven't watched my previous videos or if you don't know anything about me, um, I've recently been living in South Africa for a year and a half. I'm 20. I don't think I've even mentioned this in my other videos anyway. Uh, I'm 22, um, I'm a business school graduate, currently job seeking. Um, so yeah, but basically I've just recently moved to Melbourne so I've been like all over the place and I've been wanting to film this video which is a what I eat in a day. Um, to be honest, I couldn't film a what I eat in a day before because my life has been so scattered and I've been so unhealthy and so out of routine. But um, I moved to Melbourne now like I think I said before. From Tasmania, I moved back from South Africa and I was in Tasmania. Now I'm in Melbourne because I'm like obviously looking for work here and living here and all that stuff. And I've just come back from South Africa again actually. I was just there for about a week and a half. Anyway, I'm rambling too much, but yeah. Um, and I'm finally starting to get into a routine. I've been feeling so gross lately, like just eating Uber Eats and being all scattered, but I just did a big grocery shop and I'm trying to be super healthy. So I thought today would be a good day to share with you guys some of the meals and maybe give you some ideas. So yeah, I'm about to go for a quick walk and then I will show you my first meal. And back from my walk, I'm kind of having to duck a little bit because I could not, like I really need a proper tripod because I'm using like a mini tripod um, but anyways I'm back from my walk it is now nearly one o'clock and I mentioned in my weight loss video that I usually do intermittent fasting um, I said I usually do between 12 and 8 um, but I'm like not super strict on it so sometimes I'll eat at 11 sometimes I'll eat, I'll eat at 12 or 1 so today I like just wasn't that hungry so I'm eating at 1 which is my first meal of the day and I'm gonna make a little like taco bowl um, I'll just show you what I got so I literally just bought all these ingredients because I did do a big grocery shop and I realized I didn't buy any lunch ingredients. And I was also going to have a smoothie, but I think I'm like a bit more hungry, so I'll have like a full meal. So I've got a lemon, which I'm just gonna use for flavor. Um, taco spice mix. Um, this is all very lazy because I got microwave rice. I just find it so much easier for the Uncle Ben's rice. I really love these. I also love the flavored ones. They have like a Mexican one, but they didn't have it um, at the shop I went to. And then I've got an avocado. Um, tomato, chickpeas, and black beans. So this is going to be like a healthy vegan, I guess it's vegan, um, right. So I want to microwave these. The problem is I've got a bit extra ingredients, like I think this might make me more than one bowl. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to make the whole thing and then if there's leftovers I'll have the other half for lunch tomorrow. I've been like obviously trying to fill myself but I thought it would be easy just to show you guys like this. So that's the chickpeas and the black beans, um, the tomato that I've used, the lemon, avocado, and then I just thought I'd show you really quickly what the brand is of the beans. It's this edge, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but that's the black beans and chickpeas that I use. And then I also got a spice mix. It's a taco spice that I'm going to mix in the brown rice. So I've let that sort of cool down a little bit and then I'm just going to put it all in this bowl and mix it together. The lemon juice really helps to like get the seasoning into the rice and give it some moisture and also obviously helps flavor. So I'll just kind of put that all together now and then show you the end result. So I've just sat down now to eat. I thought I'd quickly show you guys the end result. So this is how, I don't know if it's going to focus. This is how the bowl is looking. I've got the rice underneath and then my beans, tomato and avo. Obviously if you wanted you could add like some chicken or mince or something like that. Um, if I was really hungry maybe I would do that. But yeah, I'm also just trying to cut down on my meat. So this will be my lunch. Um, if I have a snack I might show you guys that and then I'll obviously show my dinner as well. Okay, so I just filmed a whole little how-to video on my snack that I just made. It's just a banana protein smoothie and the whole thing was out of focus. So I'm literally just gonna show you really quickly what I put in it because I've already made it now. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is like my snack because it's about past five-ish. It's a bit too early to make dinner and I am still a bit hungry. So I'm gonna have that and then I'll make dinner in like two hours or so. So it's literally just, this. so it says keep it cleaner protein powder. It's the salted caramel flavor. Let me just show you that again. It's all natural ingredients. It is some chia seeds. I put about two tablespoons, well I use quite a lot. And then literally just one frozen banana, water, and ice. And that's pretty much the whole smoothie. It's very basic, but it's good for just a time like this when I just want a little snack. I've got my caper metal straw. It's so cute. It's this little rainbow metal straw. I'll link those in the description if you want to get your own. But they're so convenient, and it's a nice thick one, so it's perfect for smoothies. Okay, so I've just started preparing my dinner now. I'm having 
um, salmon, like just without the skin, and then I just put on a bit of lemon juice and chopped up garlic, and then I'm just having it today with some broccolini and um, some tomato. I don't really really season this. I'll probably put on some pink Himalayan salt, but this is like so easy and quick to make. Pretty much all I had to do was chop the stems off the broccolini and the garlic. So it's very easy, and then I'll put them all in the oven in this little, I don't know what that's called, but in that. Okay, so this is the finished meal. I decided to show you guys really quickly. Um, I put the salmon in the oven for about 20 minutes, I wanna say, actually probably like 30 minutes. And then I just cooked the broccoli and tomato, and I've added some sweet chili sauce, and that's pretty much the whole meal. Okay, so that is pretty much all my meals for the day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully I'll do another one soon so I can show you some other little meals that I have. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like or leave a comment and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you in another video very soon. <laughs> wow. Okay, serious. Okay, don't move, don't move. <laughs> <laughs> this production crew is so unprofessional.